Hi, I'm Dennis Hansen. This is my Chevy C1500. Today, I have three little jobs. Um, I'm going to replace the battery. My the battery that's in the truck now is four years old. Um, it's due. Also, I was able to get the bolt and hold down the clamp, which it doesn't have. Um, new PC V valve, and this is a Delco. Uh, the other one's a little oily, and new air filter. Um, the other one's not bad, but I might as well go new. One less thing to worry about. So let's dig in. So first thing I'm going to do, take the battery out, give me a little more access to, to that, and. Uh, want to test fit that clamp. So, to remove the battery terminals, this is a, a side mount. I use a 5 16 wrench and just loosen them up a little bit. They come off pretty easy. Like I said, the uh, battery hold down clamp was missing, so I was able to get another one on Amazon, and I was able to get the bolt, which is the big thing. Looks like that's going to work fine. It's a little tight. Might want to run it in a couple times. Okay, staying air cleaner. This is a pretty simple one. This one's a little dirty, but not bad. As long as I got it apart, I might as well wipe it out. It's really pretty clean in here. It's in good shape. Rubber's in good shape too. That's a good thing. I did get this air filter on Amazon. It's a AC Delco, so it's the right part. Okay, so what I did is I used my hands, compressed the air filter on to the hose, and it should get a real snug fit. You have to kind of squish it. This recess here needs to fit in this groove. So it's, you got to make sure you got to push it on there hard, otherwise it's not going to seal right. And you can put the top back on. OK, 
Okay, when you replace the battery, you want to make sure that your tray is ready to go. Um, by that, there's a lip here that the battery, when it slides in, it goes underneath this lip. And I'm going to make sure to move it up forward to that. And then I'll go ahead and I'll put in the battery uh, hold down clamp. I have a couple of ground wires that I have to make sure I clear. And might be hard to see, but the battery is under that lip. So that's what holds the front of the battery down. Battery's in place. And use my battery hold down clamp. It's uh, symmetrical, so it doesn't really matter which way you put it in, as long as you get this edge, this reveal here, to go towards the battery. It's right in there. And the bolt. Thirteen millimeter bolt. Don't over tighten it because it is a plastic part that's holding it down. And feel like water. Just get it nice and snug. Washer still spinning. Some people kind of don't think that's important, but I do. Um, never been like in a head-on collision, but I can imagine that uh, it would not be pretty, and I wouldn't want that battery, anything battery, splashing around. Okay. Okay. One thing that you might that you're going to need to do. Um, this little, it's like a spacer, it was on um, my old battery when I pulled it out and I didn't notice it and I had the bolt was sticking out pretty far. So I went back to the old battery, pulled that off, um, slipped that in there and so now everything's good. I don't over tighten these, so I make sure they're, they're just snug. I don't want to strip them out and the ground one's good too. Battery solid, it's not no wiggle, so I feel good about that. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to replace the PCV valve, the positive crankcase ventilation valve, allows the motor to breathe. Um, the reason I'm replacing it is because I did look at the old one right here, and it's just a little, it's a little grungy. I think it's time for a new. Okay, so that's the new one. Put it back in there. And that should be it. There's only one more thing to do. Start her up, see how she goes. Okay, this is a cold start. I haven't run this truck since yesterday. Sounds good. Motor's running nice and smooth. Very little. 
little vibration for as many miles as on this truck runs amazingly smooth. So there you have it. Three simple little jobs you can do to make your truck run better. Um, not difficult at all, minimal of tools, and all these little things make a big difference in how that motor is going to run and hold up. So I hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching.